Finally, Friday, August 5th, I'm Tim Ryan. I'm Lauren Prisbal. Well, a man was arrested after a dangerous high-speed chase through parts of three North Texas counties. Uh, Shannon Murray's live in Sunnyvale, east of Dallas, where it finally ended. Shannon? Well, Lauren, Tim, investigators are still here on scene. A tow truck just came and took that white pickup truck away that gave chase. They've also got one of the sheriff's deputies' cars on a tow truck right now, taking it away, as, as Tim mentioned a second ago. Um, the white truck actually rammed into that patrol car, so it's part of the investigation as well. We understand this morning investigators spent time retracing the nearly 40-mile path that started in Rockwall and then ended here in Sunnyvale. Video shows deputies taking the driver into custody. They initially tried to pull him over in Rockwall, but the man took off in his Ford F-150, speeding without headlights on down Highway 205 into McLennan Chisholm. And that's where he stopped and reversed the truck, ramming into the deputy's patrol car. The deputy fired at the man with his gun, but the driver sped off again into Kaufman County, into Terrell and westbound on Highway 80 through Forney. A Texas DPS helicopter let Dallas County Sheriff's deputies know the truck would be headed their way, so they put spikes out and waited for him. The spikes blew out the truck's front tire, and he had no choice but to stop, and he pulled over in this business parking lot behind us here in Sunnyvale. They arrested him without incident. He did have some superficial wounds on his shoulder. It may have been from the shrapnel from the gunfire or it could have been glass from his truck, but uh, we understand paramedics treated him. They, they took him over to the hospital just to get checked out before taking him over to jail. Reporting live in Sunnyvale, Shannon Murray on Good Day.